Thank you. Well, like Steve said, I'm going to talk to you about security analytics and logging today, how you're going to use that to supercharge your firewall. Who knows this feisty young lady here? Well, I love her. Marie Kondo from the KonMari method and popular Netflix show that you guys might have seen. Well, she started this entire movement, and she's deceptively innocuous, right? She's pretty simple. She talks about this method where you take in all of the clutter, all of the pieces that you have in your house, and get organized, and get that to spark joy. So I want to ask you guys if your security operation centers, if your NetOps centers are sparking that joy in you today or not. So we're going to do a KonMari method on Cisco security. We're going to make sure that each entity, each log in your network is contributing to some analytics, is contributing to help you understand what the baselines look like for you. And the moment there's a deviation, we're going to catch those buggers for you. So this is what it looks like. Pretty complicated, right? We've got your branches. We've got your headquarters. You've got this distributed workforce and a lot of complicated data storage added to your traditional data centers every day in and day out. So in this evolving network landscape and all the challenges that you're facing with limited staff, with limited time, with limited resources that you have going on, what do you need to do? You need to have somebody watching the watchers in your network essentially, right? So what we're trying to do here is make sure we understand and know every entity on your network. Make sure we understand what those entities are conversing with. What are these connected hosts having these conversations about? Uh, we need to understand what the baseline is. What is normal for your network and what's not? And then we need to have a play, uh, uh, we need to have an apparatus which tells you how you got to monitor these, track these, and ensure that you're correlating all of this data to give you better analytics, better alerts, with higher convictions, so you can make sure you do your IRPs really well in your SOC. So we talked about this. We talked about how threats are evolving. The landscape is increasing. Uh, Cisco recently published an internet report which said there's going to be 29.3 billion devices in the network by 2023. And your cybersecurity attack surface is going to expand to about 15.4 million attacks by 23 go globally. Well, that's an astounding number. And that's when you kind of need automation. You need your AI ML tools to sort of kick in and help you identify those high fidelity alerts for you. You cannot be shifting through more than 5,000 alerts per day, which is what we learned from our cyber fatigue study or symptom that we understood through the new CISO benchmark study that just came out yesterday. I highly recommend that for you to go through and read. So we talked about all the problems. We can't stitch the data sources today. There's no concise single data source where you can get all of the telemetry in your network and perform security analytics on it. So how do we do that? So how do we raise the bar on network security essentially? We're suggesting that the first step to that process is probably making sure that your security analytics engine, powered by Cisco StealthWatch, allows you to do that by performing security analytics on all the data sets, all the log connections that you have in your network. Ta-da! So that's the product. It's a SaaS-based service called Security Analytics and Logging. I've said that a million times by now. You can now access that using CDO, which is Cisco Defense Orchestrator, our policy management platform that we use to sort of manage all the policies within our firewall infrastructure with Cisco. So you, this is what you see up here is your CDO screen. It allows you to identify and enrich high fidelity alerts, enables you to essentially do better job at threat investigations and threat detection, both within your perimeter as well as inside your network. So that's the solution. And these are the outcomes that we'd like to bring to our customers. We'd like them to simplify their security management. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the most exciting innovation that we are bringing at RSA this year, which is SecureX, that ties in and beautifully makes sure that you have a consistent and simplified security experience. And you do that through unified visibility, enabling automation in your environment, as well as just making security simple, right? That's what we're here for about. You do that by enhancing threat detection across all of the security touch points in your environment. This, in turn, helps you to 
cross that bridge over to your NetOps audiences. You want your security teams to work closely with these guys. You want them to enable better policy tuning mechanisms within your environment. And lastly, we allow you to also help meet compliance mandates. Whether you're a financial services firm that is trying to deal with challenges with PCI or HIPAA or high trust, or a DFS 500 for that matter, we allow you to do that through table stake features like logging and troubleshooting. So that's our vision, that's where we're at, but we've got plenty of exciting things on the roadmap. We're trying to do a lot with all of the other devices within our infrastructure so that you get that visibility all in one place with your perimeter as well as inside your network. So we might do that with Cisco Meraki integrations, we might do that with SD-WAN in future. So this is, this is kind of the first step that we are doing so you get contextual network-wide visibility, you do the predictive analysis using StealthWatch Cloud, and you're able to automate a lot of that. So that takes that burden away from you, right? You gotta keep your NetOps peeps happy, you gotta keep your SecOps peeps happy. These are some of the outcomes, these are some of the use cases that are gonna make them really happy. You could, you could do forensics, reporting, archival storage for compliance regulations that I just mentioned. For SecOps, obviously, automated asset discovery, knowing what every entity on your network is doing, highly critical. So some of these use cases are going to be really exciting when we bring that to the table. Another thing that I would like to highlight here is the fact that StealthWatch has the ability to sort of get threats and encrypted traffic. And that's amazing. That's probably one of the few technologies in the market that is able to sort of do that using machine learning and behavioral modeling, right? I said behavioral modeling, and we, we call it dynamic entity modeling, and it's a pretty interesting concept. There's a lot going on in this slide, but I'm gonna try and break it down for you guys. We collect telemetry, it could be your metadata, it could be a system log, security events, passive DNS, all in one place. We run that through a machine to build a model for you. It's some sort of a simulation that's going on to understand what every entity needs to be grouped again. So when we talk about roles, what is the role of this entity? Is this an Android application? Is this a firewall instance? What it is about? And then you group them together. So when I say group, I mean basically understanding what each of these groups are exactly supposed to do. Should that be sending traffic to an external network? Should that be operating at different hours of the night when your business operations are not really working? That kind of information. Consistency is all about checking whether each of these groups or entities should be doing is normal or should be not? Is it doing something nefarious which is anomalous? What's normal for that particular network? Again, setting up rules is critical because you want them to comply to your organizational policies. You don't want them to be doing any blacklisted communications. So that's pretty critical as well from a data point of view. And forecasting. So getting a baseline on what normal means for that particular entity is highly critical. We do that by forecasting over here. This is what it looks like, it's beautiful. That's the CDO, our policy management platform that pulls in logs from your firewall. We pivot into StealthWatch Cloud that is able to show you what that particular entity or observation and details on that. So this is what I was kind of talking about. So you've got a threat, it's not doing anything malicious, It's in your environment, we recognize that, we provide that with an entity role, we group that, we know that it's a data space service, perhaps an Amazon Web Services instance here, and it stays in your environment. So that's a 36 day baseline to monitor and model that behavior, and suddenly you start seeing that there is some kind of an external connection being made over here. That's when you know that this needs to be probably looked into by a SOC analyst. So that's pretty interesting if I worked in a SOC. I would trigger an alert and get somebody to basically take a look at what this database exfiltration attempt is actually all about, right? So I'm gonna take you real quick. This screen basically shows exactly what that entity and what kind of connections it has made over the past. And it talks about what we need to do to sort of drill down and deeper and understand what it should not be doing basically. And this is exactly what it shows. It shows that there's a particular IP address that it's sending data to that's probably part of a particular country that this business doesn't operate in. And that's where you kind of get that disposition. You know that this is the verdict for you to say, somebody take care of this, somebody block this, quarantine this in your network. So that's pretty interesting to me, right? 
Now, I know you guys all sold on it and you're just jumping to kind of buy this thing up. How do you do that? You do that by getting either one of these three licenses. So logging and troubleshooting gives you access to viewing, filtering, searching, getting to know all about the logs that are there in your CDO viewer. The second package allows you to do just that in addition to access to Southwatch Cloud, which is, which is this integration that's all about. The third package allows you to do both of these above. In addition, private network monitoring as well. Uh, if you want to understand what's the throughput for cloud storage in your network, you can play around with this tool that we have on cisco.com uh, to understand what does it look like for your organization. That's the desert, you guys. So this is the big, exciting innovation that we are bringing to the RSA platform this year. This is SecureX, the platform that Cisco Security is launching. It's kind of like the motor with the brick that you have. So we're trying to take all of these technologies, put them together to deliver the contextual insights. So it's not just about Cisco. So we've got obviously the broadest and the deepest portfolio on the planet. All of these technologies that you see on the show floor here are going to be integrated into this platform. But we're going to have third party integrations. We're going to have API driven automations that will allow you to do all of, all of your fun stuff that you do in your SOC at one place.